G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to do some coasters for you today. My sister Debbie came up for Christmas this year. Uh, she's at about two hours south of me. And uh, she's going to the Woodford Festival, a music festival up here on the coast. And it runs for a week, so she's doing that in the afternoon. So I said to her, hey, come and paint with me. She'd never painted before. Um, I think she was a little bit unsure about coming to paint. Um, and she said, oh, I really don't have room on my walls. I only got a little place for canvases. So I said, that's okay. Come and do some little coasters. So she did. So this is what we did yesterday with her. They're still wet on top, so I won't touch the tops. She wanted pinks, blacks, uh, a bit of purple and some white. So that she did those. So I thought I'd show you how to do them. And uh, we'll get started. So I'm using for my base, my pouring medium, 60% glue, 30% water, 10% Floetrol. That one is just Elmer's glue all in there. Now these are my coasters. They're MDF. They're like a compressed board though. They're not the type of MDF that you get on those big sheets at the hardware store that are really quite rough. These are really hard and compressed. Um, I'm not going to seal them with anything. I think they'll be just fine as they are. Um, and then once they're done, um, I'll be sticking cork onto the back. So I've got 10 centimeter boards and 10 centimeter cork. So I think that will finish it off nicely. So I'm going to pour over the edges. Doesn't matter if the back gets messed up because you won't see it because we'll stick those on. So I'll do this in a couple of videos. I'll show you how I pour my, my coasters. And then in another video, I'll show you how I seal them with a heat proof varnish so that you can put a hot cuppa on them. So I have mixed up some paints. I've got, I want it all blue. So I've got some black and like a pale turquoisey blue. What will we have next? Uh, some navy, my favorite navy and then a bright blue. So I'm gonna go with those colors. I'm just gonna check the consistency. I want a little mound. I'm just not sure about this one. This one's been giving me a little bit of grief. I think it's a little bit on the thick side. The blues do tend to be a little thicker than other colors. Let's pop a little bit more water in there. I don't want it too thick. If you think if your mix is too thick, your cells are all sort of hazy and cloudy kind of. They don't have a definite ring around them. Uh, let's see if I can show you the consistency. You can see a ring around there, a little ribbon on top. So that's it. Right. Um, I've just got these little containers to pop them upside down to put my coasters on for them to dry. So try and get something with a wide base rather than one of these that's only got a little base. It'll just be easier um, to steady your coaster. And little medicine cups to pour into. That's a, a 30 mil little cup. So I'm gonna put some treadmill silicone oil in all my colors. So I've got 40 grams of pouring medium and 40 grams of paint. So that's 80 grams. I'm just gonna put, I think two drops will be sufficient. Maybe three in this navy because it's got more now because I've kept adding water to it. So there we go. Give that a good stirring. My paint mix is quite thick so I want to give it a good stir. I want it to distribute evenly into my paint. I don't want big blobs of silicone left in there. That will create long wormy type things. So a good mix and if people say to you don't mix so much you're going to get small cells it's not the case I get small cells to begin with yes but then I tilt my surface to grow them so I don't see how it has any bearing on the size of the cell at the end where am I going to put these out of the way for now Right, so let's start layering. We'll put one little cup there, and that's going to go there. I'll get it out of the way. Hope you guys can see. 
Well, these are making a bit of a shadow. Anyway, let's do it. So, black first. Little cute pouring cup, hey? And then the light. So I'm going dark, light, dark, light, as I always do when I'm doing my big surfaces. This is no different. Still feels thick, that navy. It didn't spread to the edges like the other colour. It just sort of sat there. But anyway, we'll see what happens. And some of the bright blue. And what will we go next? We'll go with the black again. And I don't think I'll put that one in again. Oh, no, I'd better because I can't put white. I don't want white next to the black. That wouldn't be very good. That'll be a grey. And some of this blue again. That'll be enough. About three quarters full. Should be plenty. You're going to get a lot of coasters out of this amount of paint. We'll just flip it over. If you're not confident in flipping, you can take your little cup like that. You can put that on top and then flip it over if you prefer. You don't have to do as I do. Right. Now, where am I going to put these so that you can see them when they're done? One, two, three. Maybe I can do that. Four, five, six. That way you can see them when they when they're done. Hey. Okay. Now let that sit for a minute. Actually, while that's sitting, I can prepare my next cup. Some black. Oh, I do you think that's still a bit on the thick side? And add some more water. <clears throat> it's probably thinner than the others now. It's fine. Right, black. This one's called Peacock, my turquoise. And then the navy is my deep space. That feels better. A bit more of that there and my white and the blue again and finish it off with some black so just one layer can't remember I think I only did one layer next one next little cup I'll do two small layers Right, so let's just flip this. So when you lift your cup, don't just lift it straight up because it'll all drop into the middle and uh, it won't look very pretty. So make sure you're holding onto this so you don't flip it over. And I'm just gonna flip this and drag it a little bit towards me, like so. Rightio. Just give that a minute. I'm going to torch. I'm gonna to use my little guy today just because I don't want to burn everything else around me with my big torch, so just my little guy will be fine today. Round and round. Again, don't go overboard with your torching, less is more. Do, do as you do when you're doing the flip cups on the big surface, just wait. Because see, that's quite a lot of cells already that have popped up. You don't need to torch a lot, don't get over crazy. You can always go again afterwards, so maybe just here. Like that. What I'm finding is the these two colours together aren't really producing very good cells. That's down here. I'm getting black cells in that bright blue base. So I'm going to have to try and separate those two colours somehow. Okay, but the rest of the cells are looking really pretty. So I'm just going to move that out of the way for a minute. I shall put it up there. I'm going to just tilt. It's a bit difficult because you sort of just have to, you can hold onto the edges here, but once you've started covering them, you just have to hold onto the bottom and, and tilt. So, um, oh, there's a little bubble there. Let me get my stick. Where'd it go? There. Whoop. 
Right, now I'm probably going to tilt off this bit here because I'm not that happy with that bit. So just slowly take your time. As you go into the edge there, try and get the paint to just pop over the side as well. And then you can spin it around. I'm still holding the edge, but I won't be able to hold the edge for much longer. And I'm going to have to put my hand underneath and just sort of balance it. Take off what you don't want, keep what you do want. Make sure it runs over the edge if you can. So now I'm just holding underneath. Just letting that paint go over. If for any reason it doesn't go over like that there, you can just touch it on the side there with your finger that's got some paint on it, just to help it over. And there we go, that's looking quite pretty, isn't it? getting a little bit of haziness here in these cells which is telling me that my paint is too thick so those white cells there they're getting quite hazy now I think I've done the sides so I'm gonna pop it up here at the back when you finish doing all your pores just take your little spatula like this and run it around the base to catch any drips so all the way around, otherwise your drips will dry on there and, and you'll have dry bits of paint hanging off and then you'll have to sand them. So try to get them off. Now, which one of you guys is too thick? Is it you? Put some water in that one. One of them is still too thick. And I know that because my cells are a bit hazy. They shouldn't be hazy at all. They should be nice and clear with a definite ring around them. If they look like little candy floss in the middle, then it's too thick. All right. Um, now, what can I do to change these colours up a little bit? Mm, maybe I can do that. I'm going to have white next to the black, but I can't, can't help that. No, but then I've got these two dark ones next to each other again. That's not going to work either. <laughs> oh, I don't know. No, it's still not working. Oh, I don't know. Let's just flip the second one, hey? I'll worry about the colours later. Second one. So, as you see, doing a, a set of six here, but you can do more. You can do a set of eight, or um, it's just, I mean, it's easier to do a set in the same colour. Otherwise, you'd be mixing up tiny little amounts of paint. But um, there'll be enough paint here left over for something else as well. Stand still. Okay, let's go again. Now, let's try and do some smaller layers and get two layers of each colour in if possible. Oh, this one's still thick. My goodness. See, it just wasn't pouring out properly. It was just sort of glugging out. Whether it's just thickening up as it's sitting here, I don't know, but it's misbehaving this navy blue paint all right let's see if that's any better it should sit out it should spread nicely to the edge of my little cup if it's just sitting there in the middle and not spreading out then it's too thick Okay, let's try the black. This is the one I didn't want to put next to that. Hey, let's try a little bit of this one in between, see if that helps. Because a dark against a dark isn't going to give you a very good effect. All right, 
right, I'll just leave it like that, see how that goes. Right, second little cup, here we go. That one's pretty, that one's got more of the bright blue in it, eh? They're all going to be different, each one. Okay, get the torch out, round and round we go. <laughs> I didn't have it turned up enough. Now, where did that bubble go that I saw? Oh, there it is, I can see it now. It's up there in the whites. Pop. Okay, move that out of the way for a minute. And where will I start? Got some more hazy cells here. This is driving me crazy today, these hazy cells. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go off. The hazy cells are going. Oh that's right, that was that earlier one I didn't put extra water in, did I? Maybe this next cup will be better. You have to be really careful that you don't let the whole thing slide off your hand, hey? That would be disastrous. So just check your composition. Tilt where you want to tilt. And I know I haven't got any paint on that edge there, so I'm just going to pick some up and pop it on there. Okay, how's that one looking? Right, number two. Wipe my hands. And let's go with number three. And while that's sitting there, I'll put some more paint in this one. I want to add a lot more of the bright blue. I'm not getting much of that coming through, so I'm going, this one's going to have more of the bright blue, I think. Good amount of it there. And then the light. And let's do the navy. Whoa, that was a big blob of navy. There we go, extra navy. Now one's only got one lot of black in it, so we'll see how that goes. Alright, ready, number three. Okay. For these little guys, I'm just going to rinse them out and use them again. No point just using them once. They can certainly be used over and over and over. Just rinse them as soon as you've you've done your painting. Don't let them sit too long, otherwise the paint's going to dry and start to stick. But uh, yeah, use them up. Waste not, want not. Hey. All right. How are these cells looking? Better. Uh, still going hazy in there. The, the white's going hazy. What's wrong with you, white? Are you too thick? Put a little bit of water in the white just to see, just to make sure it's going to be all right. Mixing uh, water in after the silicone's been added doesn't seem to hinder the process at all. And here I've got the blue against the navy again, or the blue against the black, I'm not sure what it is. So the cells aren't really popping there because I've got two dark colours next to each other. So when you're doing this layering, try and think about how they're going to go. Try not to have dark on dark, light on light. Try to do light, dark, light, dark. Mm. 
Okay. That will do. Is that one all covered? Not quite. Need some darker paint for this side. Pop that there. Okay. I really like that big white blob. I'm going to try and get rid of it if I can without overstretching everything else. One's not really my favourite. I'd have to redo that one. If it's one that you don't like, all you do is get some paper towel, scrape it, do it again. Like I said, there's lots of paint here, so it doesn't matter if um, you go again. Fill these up a little bit more. Keep it out of my mess there. But yeah, I don't think I'll don't think I'll keep that one. I'm gonna get some paper towel and get rid of it. Don't like it. So I'm gonna pop that there. Flip it over. Wipe it off. As I said, don't worry about your backs. Uh, they're gonna get covered with the cork. So it doesn't matter what they look like. It's not going to be a problem. We'll go again with him. Right, let's do this one. One, two, three, go. Oh, that one's a lot lighter. Lots of turquoise in that one. All right, torch. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and torch not so close to, a bit, a bit higher up if possible. It's taking a while for the heat to go down through this thick paint. Uh, my little torch is quite high up. Oops, I've got a caterpillar. Must have got a bit close. Just over there. So this one's got a lot more of the, the light blue turquoise in it. So far that's my favourite one there. Really like that one. Right, let's move my little stand. And tilt this little guy. Where, where will we go first? All the way around, roll it over the sides, cover your edges. Can you see a difference in my white cells? Please tell me you can see a difference in my white cells. <laughs> They're not hazy. They're much better, better defined. Hope you guys can see it. All right, let's put you there. And the paint flowed easier over the sides too. That one's really pretty, that's got more blue in it. Now, let's do this one again. So I'm not torching after I've done these because I don't want any more little cells to come up. And I have got the Floetrol in the mix so that um, it should dry better than the PVA glue dries on its own. If you don't torch after you've tilted with PVA, you can get these little pit holes uh, with the glue. So that's why I've added a little bit of Floetrol just to help alleviate that. Now this one, I want more of the bright blue and less of the aqua. Bit 
get a white, just a little bit, not much, don't need much. Go with a navy again. And a little bit of this, just because I can't put none of the dark colours on top of it, can I? And, uh, alright, some black. And let's do this. I don't want any more of the turquoise, so I'm going to have to go with the blue. But change things up a little bit. They don't all have to be the same layer and the same amount. They'll all match because they've all got the same colours in them. Whether one's more blue and one's more black and one's more turquoise, it doesn't matter. They're all going to look beautiful together as a set. Righty-o. Need another two little cups. Did I not get another cup? I need another cup. Go. Another two little cups. They're so cute. Still got quite a lot of paint left in that one. Probably don't need to fill them up so much actually because the colour that's at the bottom, my black, is still in there. That's why this one's so light. Um, that was the one I filled up a lot and now my black being at the bottom is still left in my cup. So probably not such a good idea to, to make them so full. Three quarters of the way should be fine. A little bit of that one. Some blue. A little bit of white. Navy. A little bit of blue. Aqua. Some more black. And yeah, no, that'll do. I said I'm gonna, not going to fill it up too much. There we go. Right, let's go. This one's got a lot of blue in it too, but I like that bit of navy through there. So maybe I can keep that and tilt some of this off rather. Torching. Don't overdo it. Less is more. with the mix with that extra little bit of water in it. Um, I did this one before I started with you guys. So it's really pretty too. Pop him there. More of the blue came out in that one. Now, where can I go? I like that little bit of turquoise up there so, and this navy and this blue up here. So let's tilt some of that off down the bottom there because we've got a lot of that colour. There we go. And the blue is going to roll off. That big blob can go. I like that navy there, so let's keep that. Oh, I'm going to lose my aqua because the paint rolls over itself. That's all right. Kind of looks like an abyss. A dark section of the ocean just drops down, hey? Now I need another one to match these two with the more turquoise in them. So the next one after this one will be the little bit more turquoise in it. I'm just going to get another cup for it to sit on while that's 
sitting there. Oh, where are the cups? There they are. Bought these to store paint in. They actually came with lids, but um, I never ended up using them. But now I've finally got a use for them. They could be my little stands. So that's a good thing. And then the other one that I made off camera while I was just checking my consistency. It's always the way. The ones I do off camera are my favourites. No fair. There we go. That's similar to that one. It's got that dark section there. And then this one here, um, I'm going to put more turquoise, this one in, so it's more like those two. These two have got lots of blue in them. These two have got lots of turquoise in them. These two here are quite dark. So we'll see what the next two are going to do. So then I've got a set of eight of these little beauties. And as I said, I will show you in another video how to varnish them with a heat proof surface. I don't know how about this one. It's got a lot of, a lot of black there. I don't think the cells are going to be able to come through that. Sometimes the cells can't get through um, a really dense colour. We'll see what happens. I may have to scrape this one too. Because I've got this bright blue here. See, I've got the black and the blue. Those black cells in the blue aren't very pretty. But we'll see what happens, eh? Let's get to tilting. I hope I'm not taking too much time with this video. It takes a while to do so many little ones. I go over. Well, they're starting to show up all right up here. But I'm not loving this bit here. It looks a bit too dark for me. Losing those good ones. The best bits are going. No, I don't like that one at all. All the good stuff's gone and there's a big black blob there in the middle, so get rid of that one. Do that one again. Too much black. Too much black for that one. So as I said, no harm at all in doing these again. You want to be happy with your pores. If you're not sure, if you don't love it, do it again. It's just 30 mils of paint. One ounce. Hardly anything. You're better off doing it again and being happy with your work. I'm just going to pop that there. Cover up my mess. Okay. Um, right, a little bit of black. We'll put some smaller layers in because I'm, that one it had a big blob of black, didn't it? So I think the smaller layers with less paint might work better. Same as I do when I'm doing the big canvases, I just drizzle the paint in. I don't put a huge amount in. So the same should apply really, shouldn't it? Now I'm not going to put dark on dark. It just does not give a good effect. What are my dog's barking at? Didn't really want to put black on white, but I don't want to put this blue on the black, so it's just going to have to do. And then this one, and then my navy to finish it off. See how that looks. I'm liking this little layering cup, so hopefully it'll be pretty. Okay, and that's only three quarters full, so hopefully that's okay. Flip you over. Now I've got one more to go there. Another cup. 
Right, we nearly finished, nearly, this paint's nearly gone, so I'll probably get one more out of it if I had to, if I had to scrape all the paint out. So let's hope I don't have to scrape any more surfaces. I enjoy doing this little guys, they're, they're a lot of fun. A little bit more blue in that. That blue against the white goes quite light. More navy. And a little bit more of this one. And oh, yeah. Just have the one layer of black in that one, eh? See how that goes. Okay, so that's it. That's all the paints done, hopefully. As I said, I don't have to scrape another one and I can move on. So that one's for that one there. Which is your favourite? I don't know which is my favourite. Oh, maybe that one. Oh, that one. I like that one. It's got pretty background. Oh, that one's stripy. And it's got a big blob in the middle that I don't like. Oh, I'm so picky, aren't I? Right. Those cells popped up on their own without me even having to torch. I dragged that one. I shouldn't have dragged it. I should have just flipped, flipped it over. I get better results when I just flip them over and don't have to drag them. This one I'm just going to flip over there so he, he can just wait for a minute while I finish up here. See, I've got, some, I've got a caterpillar and I've got that blob. That's because I dragged it. Having much better results with not flipping and dragging, just flipping. You might have seen that when I've been doing my recent videos. Much happier with them. Okay. That one can just... Oh, where are you going to sit? There. All right. Now I'm going to get rid of that caterpillar, so go that way first. Because he's definitely going. Bye. And then this navy hasn't got much going on in it, so let's tilt that way. Round we go over the edge. It's really stretching now. I didn't have quite enough paint. Guess what? I'm going to have to scrap that one. Don't like that one either. Sorry. Off you go. Don't like you. Making a mess, aren't I? But uh, it's much better scrapping a little one like this than it is a big, big surface. So, you know, while you're practicing, have a go at these. They're, they're good fun to do and you can, you can practice on them. As I said, you're not wasting a lot of paint. And you can reuse your surface here, your little coaster. So why not? Let's do this one, hey, while well, he is here waiting patiently. Now, no flipping and dragging, just flipping. Very blue, that one. All right, I'll try and keep the torching to a minimum. My last couple have been over torched as well. Give that a minute. And let's make up the last one. A little bit of black. Not much left of this. I'm going to have to scrape this. 
Put your navy left. turquoise, in you go, and some black, and um, what else, what else, what else, I'm going to have to go white because I don't want any more turquoise in there, and I'm going to finish it off with the navy. There we go. Right, let's, that's for that one. Let's took this one. That's a pretty cell. I'll try and keep that there. Not quite. There you go. Okay. Not loving that one either. I think it's that bit there that I don't love. Righto, lucky last. Here we go. Please be nice for the last one. Now, I think this one's just got too much turquoise in it for my liking, this one. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe that's better. It's improved. Not a lot, but it's improved. There we go. Still don't like it though. Too much turquoise. I think the ones I like most are the ones with the darker background. These three at the, well, my back, your front, I guess. Those ones, I really prefer those ones. So I've got three darker ones there, three lighter ones here. Let's see what this one's gonna do. That was a much better flip, Julie. Much better. I think that one's gonna to have to go again. I want eight nice ones, and that one's just bugging me. This big white blob, those two big white blobs there are bothering me, so that one's gonna go. I think I'm gonna to have to make up a little bit more aqua, but I'm gonna to have to do that off camera because I'm sure I've taken way, way too much of your time already. This one's looking promising. Look at those beautiful cells in the middle there, in the greyish centre. There's they've got white rings and they've got navy centres. They're really pretty. See what I mean about the difference in the contrast, like a light against a dark. Whereas here, the aqua on the blue, they're very similar colours. They haven't um, popped as much. So that one's really pretty. Maybe I've got enough just to do one more if I scrape that. You guys can just fast forward if you don't want to watch the last one. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you guys have had enough of me by now. Yabbering on. Oh, don't all go, don't all go. I don't want you all to go. Those are pretty, those ones. Oh, look at that. That one's really pretty, this one. It's probably because it's got the dark background that I'm looking for. I do like the dark backgrounds on these. The white rings of the cells really pop, really stand out. It's a bit of a balancing act. You guys just have a practice. None of us can do things beautifully first time round, I don't think. It's all, all a matter of practice. Okay. Yeah, that one's.
one's really pretty. Hey, look at that. Love that one. I'm going to redo you. There's a bubble in the white there that I need to pop. Now once it's got a little bit of the turquoise in it. Oops, wrong end. Might help if I had the pointy end. There we go. Pop. Okay, you come here. You go over there. You, you're a gorgeous little creature. Yes, you are. Okay, last one. I'm getting tired now, you guys. Getting tired. Did a pour this morning. And then I went to the movies with my daughter. And I came back, did this. <laughs> I'm getting tired. I need a coffee. I need to sit down and have a coffee. Right, let's cover up my mess. Now, I won't put so much of the turquoise in. And, well, I won't be able to because I haven't got much of it left. Oh, I love that one. I actually love all of these now. I can't say there's one that I don't like. I've scrapped the ones that I don't like. Okay, let's do this last one. Thanks for sticking by me and watching all of it. Hopefully you've seen it all. Hopefully you've learned something. If you're bored, well, just fast forward. Some people like to see all of it. I know when I'm watching my favourite people, I like to sit through the whole thing and if I, if I get a notification email saying that they've put a, a video up, I won't watch it on my phone, I won't look at the photo, I'll wait till I get home, say hello to the dogs, make the coffee, sit down, relax, put it up on the big screen and just sit down and chill and watch. Become involved in what the person's doing. Love it. Alright, come on, turquoise. Just enough for a pour. I can't believe I've used pretty much all my paint. This is done, well, I've got eight here. And what, I've scraped two or three? So maybe ten that I've done. Got ten out of it. Out of 40 grams of pouring medium and 40 grams of paint in each colour, which isn't bad, is it? Um, what am I doing next? Black. Black. And then I did white, didn't I? And then a little bit of white and then a bit of navy. Is that what I did? I can't remember. Have I got the bright blue? Yes, I have. Let's go for another dark one here, eh? I'm liking this dark background. As I said, it makes the white cells really pop. All right, this is gonna be the last one. Look at my hands. Oh, my gloves, just while I've got gloves on, hey? Right. And then off camera, I'll go around with my little tool and I'll scrape underneath all of them very, very carefully so I don't knock them off. And then I'll clean up and I'll put a big food net over the whole lot and uh, they can stay under there for a few days till they dry otherwise the flies will get in them and that will be terrible okay ready just flip over don't drag oh yes loving it thank you thank you thank you thank gods torch I might pop a few of them but I'm not going to get real close get too close you get caterpillars just go round and round nice and high that's enough they don't all come up at once and if you think oh I can't see anything and then you keep going and going and going by the time you finally stop then they all start coming up and it's too much so as I've said a hundred times before, torch, wait. Torch again if you want to, a little bit, wait. So I might try for a little bit under there in that black there and a little bit up here as well.
Plenty, plenty, plenty. Okay, I'm liking this one too. It's funny, these turquoise cells here, they don't look so bad against that background because the background's a little bit darker. It's got more black in it, so it's looking better than the last one that I did that I scraped. Okay, here we go. Lucky last. I'm going to tilt off onto my puppy pedal pad here. Try and keep some of that black if I can. Whoops. It's moving fast. Oh, those white ones, look at that. Why do you have to do that, you white cells? You're going to have to go. Bye bye. The big one can stay because it's blue. How's that? That's all right. It's not as good as I thought it was going to be, but it's all right. And I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough pouring for one day. So it's all right. It's not exactly what I was wanting. I was kind of wanting it to be darker like these at the back, but it's still okay. It's certainly better than that one that I had there that I scrapped. So there you go. Take you in for a close up and then I'll wash up. Go and get my coffee. There's a little drip. I can see a little drip. And if you've missed any little sides, you can always go over them. Oh my goodness, 52 minutes. So sorry, guys. Rabbiting on for so long. Oops, can't get any closer. Nope. Tripod's going to fall off the stand it's on. Okay, so there you go. What do you think? Do you like them? I love them. Love them, love them, love them. So, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed that video, all 53 minutes of it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't usually do them that long. It just took a long time. Um, so, um, love you all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.